Hello everyone, I recently designed my own mini camp kitchen out of an ammo box so that I can take it with me on the go. I designed the chuck box so the stove can sit securely within the box, but it turns out that if these fuel cells get hot enough, they can explode. These cans are rated by EN417 European standards at 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. To be more specific, if the top valve gets too hot, it will fail and leak fuel, which is then ignited by the flame burning from the stove. In this video, I'm going to run some tests to see how far I can go. I will test to see if I can boil water for coffee, and also cook ramen. For test one, I'll use the larger 230 gram can. Just a quick note to hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps my channel out. Thanks. I was able to boil water, but it hit a temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Because the larger can went higher than 122 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to run a second test. For test two, I'm using the smaller 110 gram can. At boiling water, I hit 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can keep going. At this point, I turn the heat down to medium and the temps sit steady at 101 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll notice that I keep touching the valve with my finger. I'm using it as a secondary measure. If it's too hot for my finger, then it's too hot for the valve. And for what it's worth, I was able to touch the entire time on both tests.
I was able to successfully boil water and cook ramen with the smaller 110 fuel can. After my testing, I decided to add some ventilation for more airflow. Figured it wouldn't hurt, it'll only help. So this is my ammo chuck box 2.0 design with better airflow. I'm glad we didn't blow anything up. All the best. <laughs>